Hi, my name is Jaromir and I will show you how to quickly build your own lab. Navigate to this address, scroll down and click on the first link here. The first link is scripts. It's a zip file, just download it, open it and copy it into some folder. Right click the first script and select run with PowerShell. It will automatically elevate. It will ask you if you want to run it, the UAC prompt. And now it will create some folders. It will download disk speed to the tools, tools VHD folder. Whatever you will put into this folder, then in the second step will be converted to the tools VHD. And the tools VHD can be used to, to be mounted with a, for example, domain controller. So whenever you will log in into the domain controller, you will see a D drive there. And in the D drive, you will have these tools available. So you can uh, copy there whatever you need before you will create, uh, before you will run create parent disks. But I will cover this in the different videos. Now it's downloading the PowerShell DSC. PowerShell DSC is needed uh, because uh, if you want to build a DC domain controller consistently during the second step, uh, I'll be using the PowerShell DSC to create a configuration and then inject the configuration into the machine. Then when the machine is started, it will be automatically configured. And that's why I need to download these modules from the internet. If you don't have internet connection, just uh, run it on some internet connected machine and then move it to the machine which is not internet connected and run it again. You can see it took like one minute. So now we are ready to uh, click the second script. Right click, run with PowerShell. You will see UAC prompt again. Just say yes. And you, you will see the script. You will check if your Hyper-V is installed. It will ask you for the Windows Server 2016 ISO file, as you can see here in the script and as you can see here in the top of the window. If you don't have anything, just uh, go to the aka.ms slash ws2016 lab, scroll down for the links and click the second one. It will navigate you to the eval centers where you can download it for free. I already have one, so I will select this one. Now it will ask you for the cumulative update. See, it's an MSU file. If you don't know where to get it, the third link points to the uh, catalog. And as you can see, there are several files. So just grab the latest one. It's a cumulative update. It means that everything released before is covered in the newest one. So just download the newest one. I already downloaded one, so I just navigate to the folder where I had the file, click and select. And now the script will run, I say two hours because it needs to create some, some parent PhDs and it also needs to create a DC. So I will pause the video now. Okay, it took like 125 minutes. So the last question asked here will be if you do want to clean up unnecessary folders and files. You don't need uh, first two scripts anymore. And also you don't need some folders, so it will be cleaned now. Okay, hope you enjoy it and see you in the next video.